Weird ways that people actually use everyday items. We live in a world of endless possibility and innovation, so why wouldn't we try new things with the pre-existing objects that we already have? We can't be afraid to step out of the box and use our imaginations to come up with new, exciting ideas for the products that we already use in our everyday lives. These people weren't afraid. In fact, they were bold, and we love it. This is weird ways that people actually use everyday items. Number 17, old wine corks. This is a pretty great idea, although we don't know how or why someone came up with it. Well, we can kind of understand the why, but who took their time to think and puzzle this one out? People have begun using their wine corks to make itsy bitsy little planters for their itsy bitsy little succulents, and it's fantastic. They're a perfect size, and the designs on the corks make for the perfect little planters. Good on whoever came up with this one. Not only are they recycling and repurposing the corks, but they're giving homes to cute plants. How fun. Number 16, Music Hack. Have you ever tried to play some music from your phone and do something else at the same time, but your phone volume didn't go up loud enough for you to even enjoy it? Well, this is a simple little phone hack that amplifies the sound from your phone quite a bit. All you have to do is place your phone inside of a bowl or something similar, and presto, you've got a makeshift speaker. Granted, this doesn't work as well as if you had a real speaker, but hey, it beats the wimpy little speaker on your phone, right? Number 15, Jello Lip Stain. Now ladies, if you don't have a lip stain on you, or a tinted chapstick, or lipstick for that matter, you could always use a little bit of jello to bring out some of the color in them pale kissers. All you have to do is pour some of the powder into a bowl, wet a Q-tip just slightly, dip it into the powder, then apply it to your lips. There you go, you now have a homemade remedy for the problem haunting you. Granted, we don't know why you'd have jello mix on you and not some kind of real lip tinter, but hey, this may come in handy someday. Number 14, leave-in conditioner. What happens when your hair is feeling super dry and crunchy, kind of like a Cheeto? Well, if you happen to pick up some leave-in conditioner, you'll be all good. But what happens if you forgot to or can't afford it at the time? You can use some diluted fabric softener, run that through your hair, and enjoy luscious, soft, un like hair in no time. Sounds strange, and it probably really is, but hey, it works, so give it a shot. Number 13, sanitary or nah? Are you an oily person? Do you know anybody that, for some reason, just seems to be much oilier than your average Joe? Well, you or your friend Joe could go into a public restroom, grab a toilet seat cover from the wall-mounted butt protector dispenser, and wipe your face with it. Heck, cut it into a bunch of pieces, and you've got a whole bunch of oil suckers. They'll clear the oils from your face and make you look a little less like you just coated your beautiful mug with Vaseline, and more like you've got the buttery skin of a movie star. Just a thought. Number 12, Saline. Saline is useful for all kinds of things, but did you know that it's one of the best ways to bring your old, dried out makeup back to life? Add a little saline, or contact solution, it doesn't have to be straight up saline, to your crusty mascara and watch it come right back to life. It'll be like it never even died in the first place. Also, you can add a drop or two to some of your palettes to make all of your other face painters easier to put on. It makes all makeup better, okay? Just trust us. Number 11. Oh, this is great. You know those really dumb packages that things come in where there's literally no way to get into them? We're talking about the plastic packages that have no seams that can be torn, and there's literally nowhere to even try besides the hole in the top from which the package was hung. Well, there's an easy way to get into them without either cutting your product in half or destroying your hands. All you have to do is have a can opener, and you're golden. Just use the can opener along the edges of the package, and bam! You've defeated that annoying packaging, and you live to fight another day. Number 10, bag container. We've all probably owned a canister of cleaning wipes in our time, and many already know this fun little hack because we've seen it in action. Once your small cylinder of antibacterials is empty, just wash it out and fold your grocery bags together, stuff them down inside your old wipe container, and there you have it, a grocery bag dispenser. You or your children or whoever you'd like can decorate the outside and transform it into a hip bag holder. Not only do you feel awesome, like you're so creative and slick, but you're also repurposing, which in itself makes you awesome for helping save material. You go, shopper. Number nine, veggie stamp. Do you love flowers? Do you love stamping stuff? How about vegetables? Well, you could put your passions together and create some truly interesting and beautiful floral stamps all from the ends of your veggies. Just chop off the ends that you're not going to use anyways, press them into some ink or paint, and then stamp them down on whatever you'd like, be it cards or a wall. 
It looks genuinely magnificent, and no one would ever even guess that you used a vegetable to make your beautiful flower stamps. Just make sure you find veggies that will yield pretty results. We don't know how great it would look if you tried to stamp out some carrots or green bean ends. You could try, though. Number 8. Stubborn Lids Oh, this little trick will probably come in handy. Do you ever need to open a jar of something, but the darn lid is so stubborn that you basically break your hand and wrist trying to pop it open? Well, you can use a spoon to crack the seal and get that lid off in no time. Simply hold the jar with one hand, the spoon in the other, put the spoon in between the jar and the lid, push up and back, and you should get a nice little pop indicating that the seal has been broken. If not, just rotate the jar and try another spot. Once you hear the seal crack, you should be able to screw off the lid easily. Perfect. If not, just smash the darn thing. Number 7. Pesky Stains We all know them. Water and other liquid stains that show up on tables and other wood furniture after setting drinks or basically anything wet on them. What do you do once you've already got a few of those built up and your furniture now looks nothing like the beautiful piece you once bought? Well, you could use some mayonnaise. We know that this sounds weird. Smearing mayonnaise all over your table sounds like just another disgusting mess. But the mayo actually helps to erase those stains that are so destroying your mind and giving you stress-related health issues. Just apply a layer of the mayo, leave it overnight, then wipe it off, and presto, good as new. Number 6. Ink Stain Remover Have you ever gotten ink on yourself and wondered how in the world you were going to get it out? Maybe you accidentally left a pen in your pocket and it broke. Or you have kids that either stained yours or their own clothes while using a pen. Well, use some hand sanitizer on those pesky stains and you'll see them dissolve away like they never even happened. Just take the sanitizer and make sure you cover the affected area, wait 10 minutes, and then clean the clothing as you normally would in the washing machine. You should see that the annoying stains are gone and you no longer have to worry about spending a fortune on new clothes. Number 5. Cheese Slicer You don't own a cheese slicer, you say? That's no problem if you've got some unscented dental floss lying around. Seriously, you can just use your floss and it'll glide through your cheeses like butter. But they're not actually butter, they're cheese. Do be sure to use the unscented floss though, for if you don't, you may find that your cheese takes on a slight hint of mint or whatever other scent or flavor your floss may hold. It's simple and easy, and you'll find yourself enjoying your tasty brie in no time. Number 4. No More Burns Have you ever wanted to light one of your candles, but your normal little lighter can't reach it, or you know if you attempted it, you'd fry your fingers off? Fret no more. You can light raw spaghetti strands on fire and easily reach those hard to reach wicks, no problem at all. With the added advantage of a good few inches, your hands and fingers should stay burn free. And you don't even have to hold your candles at odd angles just to try to attempt to get ignition. Easy peasy, spaghetti. Number 3. Annoying Sticker Removal We all know the feeling of trying to remove a sticker from something without losing half of it and having to sit there and pick and pick until it's gone. Seriously, we've all been there, and it's super annoying and tedious. You can actually just use your hairdryer to loosen that baby up and peel it away without all of the frustrating mess. Just use the hot setting, give the sticker a nice little blast for a few seconds, and peel it away. The glue will begin to melt again, lessening the hold, and you'll be able to get that little sucker off of whatever it's stuck on, pain-free. Number 2. Vodka Hey, do you or anyone you know have stinky feet? If so, you might want to make a run to the closest liquor store. No, not so that you can drink the smell and annoyance of foot smell away, but so that you can spray their shoes and maybe even soak their feet in it. And you can literally just spray it all over a pair of stinky sneakers to reduce the odors coming from within. You can also give those feet a vodka foot bath and take the smell away from the source. Can you imagine if your feet absorbed the vodka though? You'd just be walking down the street, sober as a bird in your vodka filled sneakers, and the next moment you'd be partying with strangers and possibly a tiger. Why a tiger? We don't know, but it could happen. Number 1. Coffee Oh my goodness, we have never, ever thought to marinate a steak with coffee grounds. But you know what? This sounds like an excellent idea. Coffee is great at breakfast, or lunch, or late at night, or any other time of day. So why wouldn't coffee pair well with a nice steak? This would bring a very unique flavor experience to the table, and might just become your new favorite thing. Or our favorite. We just love coffee. Just toast some grounds underneath a hot broiler for 15 to 30 seconds, add the result to the other spices you plan to put on the steak, then rub it in. Marinate that for a while, and you've got one excellent piece of meat. Yum. Did you see anything on this list that you'd like to try? Was there anything that you're sure you'll be doing in your near future, like a coffee steak? If you enjoyed this here video, tap the like button. 
Comment below to let us know your thoughts, hit subscribe, and watch out for new great content every few days.